the 1L Henry. Leased and trained by Mike Empler of Mount Vernon, Ohio, Jeff Fout driving. The two prime stunners, sold by Urban Paul to Greenfield, Rex Watson trains and drives. Three is Kentucky Power, owned by Thurman Tack and Amerian. Brian Brown trains for Dell Miller. Number four, Solar Combustion, owned by Allison Hensler of Boston, Ohio. The trainer is Joe Hensler, Bob Harper up. Number five, Geraldine's Hope, owned by William Lane of Frankfurt, Ohio. Mr. Lane, the trainer, Justin Hall, the driver. Number six, Gushing Action, owned by Alvy Long of Washington Courthouse. Neil Long of Jeffersonville, Alvy Long trains with Brad Hanners. Seven, JR's nephew, owned and trained by Bill Betty of Mount Gilead, Mike Wilder up. The eight, Crown Marie, owned by Susan Hall of Blissfield, Michigan, and Nelson of Warner Robins Air Force Base in Georgia. Kenny Edwards trains and drives. And the nine looks like snow oh, by Ray uh, Prechime of Columbia Station, Jack Daly, the trainer driver. Won't play show perfecta and a trifecta wagering eight minutes now until post time. Eight minutes. Second race, condition trotters. Lining up, moving in. On the back stretch, there they go. And uh, they're off, and from the inside, it's Solar Combustion who's sent first for the lead, gushing action from the center of the track, getting away second, but from the far outside, there goes Crown Marie, and Crown Marie is sent away, and she's swinging three wide and makes it a trim and drive for the front end. Solar Combustion battles back gamely on the inside, gushing action quickly grabs a seat behind the battling leaders, third. At the rail and trotting a fourth, it's Kentucky Power looking to angle in five. Looks like snow at the rail and racing a sixth L Henry. Opening quarter 28 and a two. Coming through the stretch and Solar Combustion has won the battle. But here comes a gushing action now and gushing action makes a strong bid for the lead. Cromery has settled in now and she's trotting third behind the battling leaders. At the rail, Kentucky Power gapping slightly fourth. Inside five looks like Snow L Henry is gapping badly sixth. At the rail and trotting is seventh, JR's nephew, a bigger gap eighth on the inside uh, to Geraldine's Hope and the trailer far back prime status. The half in 58 and three, moving along lively here and on the front with that lead. Now is gushing action, but he's parked too wide. He leads here with three parts of a length inside and trotting a second. It's solar combustion. And now to the outside of third comes Kentucky Power. At the villain force, Crown Marie. And moving to the outer flow, fifth looks like snow. L. Henry now starting to show some trot. He's racing sixth at the rail. Seventh is JR's nephew. Reaching the three quarter mile marker, 129 and one, and gushing action still on top, but now only a nose on the inside, trotting a second, solar combustion, and poised to strike three wide. Comes the seven and two, Kentucky Power. Turning for home now, less than an eighth of a mile to go, and down the stretch they come. Gushing action is still a game leader, and now he extends that lead a half a length. Make that a length, and on the outside, Kentucky Power Solar Combustion is on the inside. A late closing, L. Henry, but it's gushing action. Home free, battle for place, finishing second of the three. Kentucky Power, L. Henry third. Trackside is the unofficial winner of the second number six gushing action, a five-year-old Ohio bred son of speed and action from the Blaze Hanover Mayor Blazing Terra. Owned by Alvy Long of Washington Courthouse and Neil Long of Jeffersonville. Alvy Long trains Brad Hanners in the Sonke. Despite being apart from the quarter on, gushing action comes home strong tonight. Fit recording his third of the season and uh, trotting the mile in 201 and one fifth. 